Welcome to Pack Publishing Video Training Course Hands-on Enterprise Application Development with Java 9. My name is Martin Farrell and I'll be delivering this course. I'm a Java consultant with over 19 years Java experience. I've worked in most areas of Java but specialize in Enterprise Java or Java EE and I also work with the Spring Framework. I'm a DZone Most Valuable Blogger and I'm also a developer and software trainer and blog on my own website www.javabullets.com. You can follow me on Twitter at JavaBullets where I share my own posts and also any other quality Java posts. Feel free to contact me through my website or on Twitter. Course Overview Java 9 and Java EA. This course is about Java 9 and Java EA. They're both the latest releases of Java and its associated Enterprise Edition. Java 9's introduced some big changes to Java through the introduction of modules. It's also introduced a process API and also streams and optional API improvements. And it's also introduced a read evaluate print loop with JShell. Java E8 is the latest release of Enterprise Edition. It's been upgraded with full support for the Java DateTime API and also has HTTP2 functionality. We'll be looking at the technologies of JSF, CDI and JPA on the Java Persistence API. What we'll learn. We'll learn the installation and setup of Java 9, the Open Liberty application server in the Apache Derby database and Tomcat. We'll create our first Java E8 application, which will be a JSF application for entering marathon running races. We'll then add a service layer we will learn about CDI or context and dependency injection. We'll do this by developing a payment service for our application. And we'll finally, we'll link our application to our Apache Derby database and create a data layer using JPA. Once we've done this, we'll move on to extracting our payment service as to create a payment microservice using REST calls. And we'll conclude this course with a look at Java 9 modules to show how the payment service could be further developed using modules. The target audience for this course is novice developers who are looking to develop their Java skills to take themselves to the next level with the aim of becoming a senior Java developer. The only requirement for this course is that you have an understanding of Java development. Thanks for watching and I hope you will enjoy the course as much as I've enjoyed presenting it. Thank you.